Have you ever seen your cat try to steal a bite to eat from your dog's bowl? Have you ever wondered if it was healthy or unhealthy if your cat ate the dog food? Well, today we're going to answer that question. First of all, we have to start off by understanding that dogs and cats have different needs nutritionally. To begin, the cat is considered by scientists a strict carnivore, meaning it only eats meat and can only get all of the essential amino acids it needs from a meat diet. The, the dog is considered an omnivore, which means it can eat both meat and plant material. The vital amino acid that cats can't get from any other source than animal protein is taurine. Taurine is critical for a cat's normal heart, eye, and reproductive function, but cats cannot make it from other amino acids as most mammals can. Most cat foods formulated to be a complete diet will have taurine added in to meet the needs of a cat. If a cat is eating only dog food, this added nutrient will be missing or maybe in a form that the cat cannot digest and absorb properly. Now let's talk about calories. Just as humans have certain caloric needs, so do cats and dogs. It may also make sense that a larger animal and more active animals need more calories per day to meet the energy needs. The average human needs about 1,200 to 1,600 calories per day. Athletes need even more. And dogs need more calories than cats, so their food is going to be denser. The average 10-pound cat only needs approximately 200 to 215 to 300 calories a day. A 30-pound dog with very little activity needs around 500 calories per day. As you can see, there is a stark difference in calorie intake needs for dogs and cats. And if your cat gets a taste of your dog's food, it could be getting too many calories. That would be truly a problem if this was a regular occurrence since, just like in people, too many calories and not enough exercise could lead to obesity. So, long story short, as long as your cat is not getting its main food supply from a dog kibble, the overall health of your cat will not be affected. So just keep an eye on the behavior to make sure it is not happening on a regular basis. Now, what happens when your dog eats your cat's food? If your dog is regularly eating your cat's food, it's not getting the proper amount of calories needed and it's getting improper amounts of fats and carbs. It is important to note that if your dog is constantly eating your cat's food, it could lead to kidney and liver dysfunction because the protein content in cat food is higher than in dog food. Since cats need much more protein in their diet and mainly from a meat product, dogs will be getting an influx of protein and amino acids that they cannot as easily digest as a cat. The foods we buy at stores for our dogs and cats are made specifically to be for that one species. Increased protein in a dog's diet may lead to poor processing and digestion and lead to more serious long-term effects on their internal organs. Overall, it is important to take note of the eating behavior of your dogs and cats to ensure that they are getting proper nutrition. It is a balancing act of not getting too much or not getting too little, and we can easily avoid this by making sure that we do not eat foods made from different species. In the end, it will lead to a much happier and healthier pet.